yeah guys, so I just wanted to let you guys know really quickly that I do the Walking Dead Telltale game starting from the very first one at season one over on Twitch and I do that every single Friday around 5 p.m. Get following me guys and turn on those bell notifications so you never miss a stream. I'll play a quick clip for you guys right here. What is happening? Go! I'll get my gun! Ah! Oh! Oh! Yes, I did make that decision. <laughs> Do I regret it though? I guess time will tell. <laughs> but I would love if you could join me for the ride over on Twitch. And yeah, I'll stop rambling now and let you get into this reaction. Hey guys, Takara here and welcome back to my channel. I am low-key excited for this episode, guys. This is the finale of The Walking Dead season 10. And let's be real, anything's gonna be better than the last episode. <laughs> so without further ado, let's get straight into it, guys. Here we go. You make me happy when skies are gray. Oh, that's gotta be such a strange and surreal feeling. Seeing the man that literally smashed the love of your life's heading in front of you with zero sympathy whatsoever. Yeah, I just wanted to thank you for getting me the hell out of Dodge. Maybe you put in a word for me? <laughs> There's nothing that she can say. Over, at least kind of get the ball rolling. Moving him in? I see you went ahead and moved me in. Daryl helped. Mm, interesting. So Carol took this upon herself perhaps to banish him and keep him out of Maggie's path. I mean, Maggie is the OG, so they're obviously going to root for her over Negan. It'd be interesting to see how Judith feels about that, though, because she seems to have took a shine to him and him to her. Little pig, little pig. Oh my God, triggered. Let me in. Now, see, the sad part is that you thought for even a second that those folks would see you for anything but who you truly are. Which is me. The big bad wolf. It's time to face the facts, old man. You are nothing without her. He's, he's cracking up. Is that the stained glass from when Rick was? Carl said it doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be a fight anymore. He was wrong. This makes me want to try. Negan. I we don't have to show so much, guys. Where is she? What did you do with her? Still out there. He's clearly feeling very reflective right now. Is Lucille going to be in here? You're going to be digging for some time. Slowest walker ever. He's found it. I'm sorry, he's found her, my bad. Oh, I have mixed feelings about this. Ooh, okay. Oh, hello. Thanks, let me go. She has Is cancer, that? she needs it. You gotta keep it safe. Two, three days ago. Uh. No, don't. Okay. You have to do that. So this is the origin story. Interesting. Her name is Negan. Negan. All right. I'm Franklin. Not a lot of time jumping here. I'm trying to figure out what James Bond movie I want to watch. Well, maybe I, I love that Hillary is in this. Generator is making too much noise. Hey. 
We're gonna have to kill it. Peyton, you look so oh, different. All right, I'll turn the generator off for a little bit and they lose interest. They always do. Seriously? I mean, that'll do it. Cheers, Lucille. When you're having a... We need to move. We need other people. It's just too dangerous out there. That's my point. We're seeing a totally different side of me, Gene. You are... So beautiful. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. Me. <laughs> I don't like killing a person, babe. I don't even like killing an animal. You can't let it keep bothering you. It doesn't bother me. I'm just worried that I'm gonna get used to it. <sighs> Whoa. <laughs> it's like he knew. So my guess, my prediction is we, we lose Lucille. And then he just flips. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Wait, do you actually know what day it is? <laughs> no, I just want you to have it. Open it. Holy shit. His leather jacket. See, I, um, I don't deserve anything from you. And you shouldn't be apologizing to me. It should be me apologizing to you. I am clearly very hormonal today. Because this is getting to me. That I put you through. You know, I lay awake at night. Wondering how I got so lucky that you have stuck with me. <laughs> okay, let's turn the generator no, no, on. No, 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 no. Right, and if I leave right now, I can catch them before they move on. They could be dead by now if they even existed to begin with. And then what do you do when you find them? I you have nothing to barter with, so just stop. I will figure stop. it out. Stop, Negan. I said stop. I have something to tell you. My appointment's tomorrow at 2.15. What appointment? I'm getting an MRI. I need you to drive me home. Uh, I can't. Tomorrow at 2.15, I, I have a meeting with a probation officer. Besides, you know how the doctors can be. They have you sit around for three hours with your ass hanging out, and then they tell you everything's fine. Hey, it's me, Negan. Thought we out riding the bike, so... Leave the Shit. Message. If I don't pick up... Uh, he should be there. So he should have been there 20 minutes ago. I'm sorry, I don't know what to tell you. I don't have it on my calendar for another two weeks. Is he cheating on her? With Janine? <laughs> God, I can feel her anger right now. Oh, shit. What is it? You knew about Janine, about me and her. You knew this whole time. I broke it up with her as soon as we got your diagnosis. Why are you telling me this now? I want you to know that you made up for it. And you can stop. Oh, my days. This could work. The doctor said that this could work. No, I didn't. We went out swinging. Get out swinging. <laughs> No, we are not giving up. And I am gonna bring you back the drugs that you need. And we are gonna- And then he gets caught. We are not giving up. Not ever. Patched me up, gave me the first decent meal I've had in weeks. Give me everything that I asked for. And you haven't asked for anything in return. Well, we're good. There's a gang that owns the roads at night. Is that empty gun your only weapon? Broke my hammer on the way here. here she gives him this. Lucille? This is the bat you hit me with? Damn girl. You pack a wallop. Please tell me she's still alive right now. Cause I'm gonna sob if she's not. I'm gonna fucking sob on her. Oh 
my god. I just can't. Build this one. I probably should have recorded other shows before this one because I'm going to be puffy eyed for a while. He can't bring himself to do it, can he? And this is how Lucille was born. He's just going to burn. Burn the whole place down. Never going to be able to listen to this song again. So he's going to go and save Doc and his daughter now. That's where Negan was born. And Lucille. Are there any more of them? I think I got all of them. Take this. You go find your daughter and make sure she's okay. And he couldn't even kill a walker like a few days ago. Is he back? Oh! She broke? Well, I didn't really see that coming. I am sorry that I left you. I was a coward. I couldn't face the pain of losing you, so I ran away. And then I made myself not feel anything because I didn't want to feel the shame. The problem is, shame is the one thing that I still felt. Ah, I'm sorry that you went out like that. I'm sorry that I named a stupid baseball bat after you. This is breaking me in two. Wow, I am a, I am a mess of this. If you stay here, she will kill you. Interesting. Okay, right, guys, that, that is how these episodes should be. I know last episode I was saying that obviously be because of COVID and the situation, it makes filming and everything else just so much more difficult. But this, this is how it should be done because even though the action wasn't all there and it wasn't majorly intense, they built that intensity off of emotion and fear and it was just done so well even when it came to like the fighting when he was going to save the doctor there was no like scuffles and stuff but the music the shots that were used the the impact was still there and it was still strong and i just think they did an amazing amazing job obviously this one helped because hillary and uh, Jeffrey are together in real life so that obviously helps matters when it comes to filming and whatnot so that's a definite plus and they worked so well off each other like it was unreal I bought their characters instantly even though I know that they're together in real life and stuff it felt like Lucille and Negan and I just think that having some of that backstory as well was just fantastic like I loved it I was so invested from as soon as the episode started until the end I mean I'm not like a Negan rooter I'm not like team Negan and all the rest of it but after watching this episode I felt that extra connection that extra layer he had something more special to him he had just having that knowledge of what he's been through just helps the whole situation as well and just adds those layers to that one character as well as finding history about Lucille as well seeing how all the characters uh, intertwined and the step before he became you know the big bad wolf and I think that there were so many awesome uh, symbolistic moments in this one as well, like him returning to the place where Rick sliced his, his throat, where Lucille was buried, but Lucille was buried, but going back to his home and his history there. 
I mean, seeing Laura again was amazing. Laura actually gave the bat Lucille to Negan in the first place. It was just awesome seeing uh, the pieces of the puzzle being placed together. I did. I just loved this episode. Like these are how finales should be done, and. Uh, fair play to everyone involved for this one because I thoroughly enjoyed it and the last few episodes haven't been amazing like you can't deny that but this it instantly reminds you of why we love this show the uh, possibilities that we can get and just the creativity and yeah loved it absolutely loved it and i hope you guys did as well please let me know in the comments what you thought of it what you are hoping for future episodes as well because we have one more season left after this don't we and we also have a film uh, with rick involved as well i do miss michonne i love the fact that they replayed some of those scenes like we got to see just seeing rick's face again even though we've seen that scene, just seeing it in this new episode was amazing same with michonne as well and the the look that Maggie and Negan had at the end, it just, it's chilling. It's absolutely chilling. Like it, you just feel it in those moments and ugh, I can't speak highly enough of this episode. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and I look forward to reading your comments as well. If you enjoyed my reaction, please give this video a cheeky thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you would like to. But as always, there's no pressure here, but I would love to have you. We're almost at 25K, so it would mean a lot. Remember I have the uncut versions of these over on Patreon as well. So if you're interested in that, please click on the link below. I've also started a Walking Dead game over on Twitch. So if that takes your fancy, please head over to my Twitch. The link will be in the description and I will be doing that every single Friday. We've done episode one. I'm doing two today as well. So look forward to that. And I hope to see you again soon for the next video. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.